Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Thousands of bikers have huge plan to take America back. Watch out. We're coming for you. The 2016 presidential campaign was very divisive for much of the nation, but it was also very uniting for some unexpecting parties. We are taught from a very young age that talking about religion and politics are off limits, but the most recent election season put all that in the past. Everyone was talking about politics, and people found that they agreed, politically, with some surprising people. Some of those people were politically active bikers. While bikers sometimes get a bad reputation because motorcycles are the mode of transportation preferred by certain illegal elements, a lot of bikers are just free spirit retirees who want to live full lives in their golden years. Several times in recent history, we've seen bikers coming to the rescue. Whether it be protecting scared children who fear to face their attackers in court or transporting the remains of fallen heroes to their final resting place, we find them riding their steel horses for good. While the failed Hillary campaign wants you to believe that married white women are responsible for the election of President Trump, they found an unlikely ally in bikers across America. The Washington Examiner reports that Florida has a large contingent of very politically active bikers, and they're fully behind President Trump. Edgewater, Florida it was Thursday of Daytona Bike Week, and Chris Cox was standing on a makeshift stage out in back of the No Name Saloon, a biker bar advertising cheap beer and the wet t-shirt contest. Cox's group Bikers for Trump was hosting a rally, ostensibly to promote the gubernatorial bit of local Republican rep. Ron DeSantis. But DeSantis didn't appear and his name was barely mentioned. That's because the bikers' real purpose in holding the rally was to demonstrate their loyalty to President Trump. The fact that Donald Trump has endorsed DeSantis is all bikers for Trump needs to know, Cox explained to the few dozen bikers on hand. What I intend to do is simply to follow Trump's lead. Following Trump's lead has served Cox well. Three years after launching Bikers for Trump, Cox is attempting to transform the group into one of America's most powerful grassroots political organizations. Cox has had what can best be described as a colorful life. A chainsaw wood carving artist who once worked as an advance man for Vice President Dan Quayle, Cox's first brush with fame came when he mowed the lawn near the Lincoln Memorial during the 2013 government shutdown. That stunt earned Cox the nickname Lawn Mower Man, and several national media appearances. Cox launched Bikers for Trump in the fall of 2015, back when Trump's campaign was eliciting more laughter than endorsements. In an interview in his Bikers for Trump RV the night before the DeSantis rally, Cox said he was initially laughed at for backing the reality TV star. And it did seem odd that a group of rugged ex-fits and tattooed blue-collar types would endorse a draft-avoiding, necktie-selling Manhattanite who prefers riding in limos to mounting motorcycles. But there was something about Trump that resonated with these bikers. There was his aversion to political correctness, which they shared. Like Trump, the biker will tell it like it is, Cox said. Also, Trump's platform seemed tailor-made to bikers. The backbone of the bike community is the vet, said Cox. Trump's promises to knock the hell out of ISIS, rebuild the military, and improve veteran health care were exactly what vets wanted to hear. Bikers for Trump quickly became one of Trump's most visible backers. The bikers patrolled the candidates' rallies, informally working with law enforcement to identify rabble-rousers and, at times, getting into scuffles with protesters. The bikers' volunteer security work earned in appreciative tweets from Trump and some national media attention. After the election, Cox was invited to meet the president in the Oval Office. Cox earned more love from Trump in the lead-up to Trump's inauguration when some left-wing groups threatened violence. Cox responded that his bikers would form a wall of meat to prevent protesters from causing a disturbance. Bikers for Trump are on their way, Trump tweeted. After Trump's presidency started, the bikers began thinking of ways to capitalize on their newfound stature. Trump has delivered on the issues bikers care about most. Under Trump, the United States has helped liberate nearly 100 percent of the territory held by ISIS. The spending bill signed by Trump in March included $700 billion for the military, the largest military budget in U.S. history. According to Cox, reforming the VA should be America's most urgent priority. 22 vets a day kill themselves, he said. Who's helping them? These vets I meet, they don't go to the VA because they don't think they'll get the care they need. That in itself is a crisis. Cox thinks that Trump's plan to replace David Shulkin with White House physician Ronnie Jackson to lead the VA is a step in the right direction. Americans have the honor and privilege to be able to vote and campaign for those that value what we value. Working to elect a president that will back our pet issues is our birthright, and if you're in Florida, 
you might see that work done by backs covered in leather and hearts pumping red white and blue. Conservative pundits are concerned that the liberal backlash to President Trump's election will end with a Democratic sweep in the 2018 election, and that they could lead to an impeachment attempt by the left. In other words, just because President Trump is in office, it doesn't mean that his supporters can rest. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.